Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. It is good to be back. We got a good one for you today in an interesting fight between two unbeaten prospects, both named Connor on a Queensberry card, Connor Quinn versus Connor Carousel. Uh, and like I said, a, a battle of unbeaten flyweights, I suppose. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, follow me on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Bring down the house. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. The Lock of the Week. It, the Patreon gets you the Lock of the Week. It's just $5 a month. It gets you, like I said, Lock of the Week. hits every week. It's easy money. We hit it every week. It hit last week. So I'm going to release it again probably today or tomorrow. So join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. You also get asked to bookie anything. It asks me a handicap. If I ask me a uh, request a video, I'll do anything that you want. to show you how to make money on any single fight. Connor Quinn. Uh, also uh, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Connor Quinn. Connor Kelsall. Connor Quinn. Connor Kelsall. Um it's an interesting matchup. This is an, an interesting fight. Stylistically, it's a challenge for both guys. Uh, you, you don't often get fights like this. Two somewhat touted prospects this early in their career uh, fighting each other. Same promotion, same everything. One guy is going to take a massive step forward, but what is that step at 115 pounds, let's say? What, what, what is that step? Connor Kelsell is 11 and 0, one knockout. He's looked really good against lower level competition. You go back when he fought Paul Roberts back, uh, it's about a year ago almost, and he, he did not look good. He won the fight. Um, he, he won all the rounds for the most part, but this is a guy who's four four and two. It was a ten round fight, and he just he, his volume dropped. He just didn't look good. You, you look at uh, Connor Kelsell for the height. He's fought King Connor Kelsell. He's he's tall for the height. Mover, quick, clean combinations. He's he's a boxer mover. Good good volume, but you saw that volume drop off as the as the competition got better. Now is that something he's fixed? Well, I I don't know because the record of his last two opponents is five one hundred and twenty eight and five. So the, the competition and it looked fast. He, Against Luke Fash, he looked really good, but Luke Fash is three hundred and two and three. Good volume, good combination puncher. No power, doesn't sit down on his punches. He keeps turning, he keeps moving you. He doesn't let you get comfortable, but he does seem to fade. And you saw this in the Paul Roberts fight. If you go back, you watch the Paul Roberts fight. He's slowing down, right? He's, he becomes more stationary later in the fight. Now he's still outclassing Paul Roberts, but Connor Quinn is not Paul Roberts. Connor Quinn is a good fighter, and this is going to be a good fight. Flicks out the jab. He's, he's a mover. He's accurate from the outside. Quick jab, pretty accurate from the outside. Quick combinations. He throws combinations, especially if you're not offering resistance. But once you offer resistance, you see his punch output really does start to, to drop, and he leaves himself open to be countered. He takes, like, I think what, what, are, what are bad wrists, right? Like, he'll, he'll, he'll throw wide uh, wide right hands, wide hooks, and leave himself open. But his, he's not sitting down. He's not committing to his shots. He's not a hitter. There's nothing on these shots. So it's like low risk. It's low reward, high risk. Like you, if you land it, it's not going to have a proportional damage. If you get hit, you, you're going to get tagged because you're so wide open. He's not super fast, right? He's got decent speed. He's got decent reflexes, but he's not a speedster. And you can see that as the level of competition rises. He, he's pretty quick. You know, he's going to be the faster guy in the ring, but he's not dazzling fast. Like, he can be timed and countered. Like I said, his volume drops against higher competition. He doesn't throw hard or commit to his shots. It's, it's, it's somewhat amateur style. It's a pity patter style where he's just looking to score points for the most part. He's not really sitting down committing to his shots. He's, and, he, again, he seems to fade late. When, when I first watched the tape, I watched his first fight, I said, oh, he's going to win. I watched the second fight. I said, I'm not so sure about that. Connor Quinn has a much more professional style. Uh, upright boxer, front foot guy, cuts off the ring, not super busy either. So this is not going to – I don't think this is going to be a super high volume, high pace fight. This is going to be – they're going to be both a little bit more conservative. He's not super athletic. He's got good pop and does commit to his shots. He's got a really good left hook. The left hand seems to be his money shot. He throws it from a variety of angles. 
He's got two-fisted power, but like I said, he's got power in the right hand, but the left hand, the angles and, 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 and the variety in which he throws it is nice. He throws nice crisp combinations as well. Footwork is sort of poor. He's off balance a lot. He crosses his feet sometimes. He's got good pop um, in, in both hands, but there's something just not right. Like, he's off balance. His footwork, his feet are too close together at times. His footwork needs some work. He needs to jab more. He's tall and rangy, but he's not going to have a sizable advantage against Conor Kelsa, who's also long and rangy. So it's a really interesting fight. He selected with a shot. Um, but commits to them, throws them hard. His left hook is going to, if he can land it with his left hook here, he's going to win this fight. If he can't, it, it could go in any which direction. This is, I, I don't think it's 50 50. At first, I, I was leaning towards kind of Kelso. Then I'm, I'm watching this and watching this. I'm like, no, I, I like Connor Quinn to win this fight. Um, and then, you know, my original instincts, I've gone back and forth with this, but I'm, I'm going to settle on Connor Quinn. The odds are moving rapidly all over the place. Um, it's got to be pretty thinly better because it was minus 180, then it went to minus 210, now it's minus 205 on Connor Quinn. Um, when the props come out, I, I, I'm obviously going to want to bet this goes the distance. This fight is very likely to go the distance. Bet the over. Uh, it's a scheduled 12 rounder. I think this fight goes the distance. You know, it, it, it's got a couple possibilities. Connor could win by points. He's not going to stop him. And Connor, Connor Kelso could win by points. Connor Quinn could win by points or by stoppage. But my guess, my hunch is that this thing does go the 12 round distance. Now, not a guy has been 12 rounds. As a matter of fact, Connor Kelso has fought only four rounders this year. He hasn't fought a 10 rounder uh, since 2023. And uh, Connor Quinn, kind of the more celebrated prospect, is nine zero and one, and he's never fought a twelve. He's never fought a twelve rounder either. He's never fought. He's fought a schedule ten rounder twice, but they went seven and two. The longest he's ever gone is eight. He went eight rounds back in May of twenty twenty three, uh, and. He had a draw early in his career with Darwin Martinez. I think that was all right. So he's never gone past eight rounds either. I do think this fight's going to go the distance. I don't see the guy getting in that guy. I definitely like the over. So join the Patreon. We'll look at the props on this as we get closer. If they do drop props on this, which I think they will. It is a main event fight. They'll, they'll get money to bet on this. So for right now, basically – Connor Quinn is a two to one favorite. A uh, hundred dollar bet is going to make you about fifty dollars. That's where we are with this. I do like Connor Quinn in this fight. I don't think uh, Connor Kelso Con is a terrible bet. It's, it's, I wish it was paying a little better if I was going to gamble on him. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take who I think is going to win the fight. Connor Quinn minus two hundred five. Join the Patreon uh, to get the props when the props do drop because I do like the over and I do like Connor Quinn. But uh, I like the fight to go the distance. I, I, I like Connor Quinn by by decision. Uh, so I want to see the odds on that. We'll make the bet that makes the most sense. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Again, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. It is June 26, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.